Godzilla Heritage, read by Royal Jehan, drawn by Royal Jehan, original creator Gregory Graves. It was 7.40 in the morning in San Francisco, and a kid named Nathan was going to his college that he attended to to take his final exam. You have 30 minutes left to finish your exams, the teacher said. Damn, this test is making me nervous. All the questions are so hard, but I'm confident, Nathan said in his head. Time's up. Turn in your exams, the teacher said. Done. Hopefully I passed this, Nathan said quietly. All of a sudden, the ground started to shake, and chairs and desks started to tumble over. The teacher yelled, evacuate the school immediately. There were cars on a bridge, and a yellow spike started to come out from the water. And a great body attached to it. Then an arm rose from the body. And the whole body was revealed. It was a reptile. had a black eye. And a pu yellow pupil. It was Godzilla. Oh my god, Nathan said. A loud roar was released from the creature. Run, guys, run, Nathan said to his two friends. They almost got crushed, but they kept running. They both stopped because the ground started to crack. The ground exploded. Godzilla looked at the ground and a spiked creature rose from it. It was Angerus and they both roared at each other continuously and then stared each other down from across the city. Their Angerus charged at Godzilla, but Godzilla blocked it. Meanwhile, there was a volcano on an island. And it exploded, releasing smoke and lava. Jets and helicopters started to surround it. A hand was revealed with a wing. Are you guys ready to shoot? The pilot said. Then a head was revealed. And then the whole body. And it was Rodan. She roared. She flew over all of the helicopters and jets. She ran off, a pilot said. Send back up. Another pilot said, copy that. The pilot replied, replied, Jess came behind Rodan. Then her eye started to glow red and her mouth and released a violet beam. Any last words before we die by that thing? It was too late. They exploded. Meanwhile, Godzilla threw Angros on his back. And he swam away towards silhouettes in the sky. Godzilla choked Rodan in the air. Rodan then penetrated Godzilla in the neck, making Godzilla roar in pain, and Rodan flew away, and Godzilla swam away as well. He went back to San Francisco, and Angerus got back up. Angerus looked back at Godzilla angrily. Godzilla slapped Angerus. Angerus roared. And then a round ball flew towards Godzilla, and it impacted Godzilla, making him fly cross on his back. There were three Angruses now. Godzilla then glue blue and released a beam. It exploded the Angrus, but they were still alive. They were on the ground. Then the red one got up and slapped Godzilla in the groin. The other one bit Godzilla in the neck and the other one hit Godzilla in the knee, making him fall on his head. Then he glue blue again, regenerating. But then a violet beam was heard from the back and hit Godzilla. Rodan. She picked Godzilla up in the air and released him, making him fall. One of the angrys flew towards Rodan, hitting Rodan. Godzilla was on the ground, and so was Rodan. All the angrys is grouped up together, and they all started to attack Godzilla hurting him and making him roar in pain. The Angros got up and it was shot by Rodan again in the back. Rodan made Angros fall. The other two Angroses were mad and looked at Rodan. Rodan was also mad. Rodan dashed and then the orange Angros bit Rodan in the tail. Rodan roared in pain and flew higher and made the Angros fall on top of a couple of buildings, penetrating its neck.
killing the creature alongside it. Another Angerus flew towards Rodan. Rodan shot it, and it started to burn. Rodan was terrified. And in an explosion was heard in the air. The Angerus died. But then Rodan landed on top of it safely. Rodan shot Godzilla. Godzilla shot back. Only making the explosion hit Rodan. Rodan was still alive on the ground, though. Godzilla shot another beam without thinking. And hit Rodan in the chest so hard. And made her die. Out of nowhere, the red R- Angerus jumped towards Godzilla. Godzilla grabbed it in the neck in frustration. Then grabbed its snout. Started to twist and ripped its head apart. And a roar was released from Godzilla. Claiming